Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So near the end of September this year, I posted letting you know that the new Outlook for Windows was here. And that's because Microsoft had announced that the new Outlook for Windows was generally available for personal accounts through the Microsoft Store on both Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now, I'll leave that video down below if you would be interested. And um, just to do a quick recap for today's video, basically the new Outlook for Windows is more a PWA, a progressive web app, than a UWP app. And some of the things it does include, just a brief overview, you've got your uh, calendar that's now integrated into uh, the new Outlook. You've got your other Microsoft services like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneDrive directly integrated here to the left-hand side. Um, up until recently, you had Gmail support, which I have already added, if you are using Gmail like most do. And uh, just to let you know now that um, if you are uh, tied into the Apple ecosystem as well, that you can now add your iCloud account into the new Outlook for Windows. So if you are interested, how we do this um, is we head up to our settings. And here under accounts, email accounts, you can see your uh, add account. And um, it says Outlook supports Microsoft 365, Gmail, Yahoo, and now iCloud and obviously if you are using iCloud, you'll have the opportunity now to be able to include and add your iCloud account into the new Outlook for Windows. Now, if you are a little bit confused, uh, the original Outlook or the um, classic Outlook app has always supported um, uh, Apple's email service, has included iCloud um, support, and now it's available in the new web app, the new Outlook. And just letting you know, just a quick video to keep you updated like we like to do on the channel, that if you are tied into the um, Apple ecosystem and are also using Microsoft products, that you can now add your iCloud account in the new Outlook. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.